The Lord is, uh, is big, uh, bigger than we know. He's huge. He's beyond our comprehension. Whenever we think we know something about God, he takes us to a higher level. The one thing you should fear more than anything is staying small and staying stuck in life. <clears throat> Lift your hands, say, I'm coming up higher, Lord. Yeah, whatever you said, I say amen. I like the language. Yeah, yeah. God is big. Well, a lot of bugs in here, man. Jesus' name, get away from me. Flying around, hitting me everywhere. Oh my God. Oh my God. Amen. Amen. I was in Savo. I was in Savo over there. And a big, big bug about that big <laughs> flew by and just went boom and landed in my glass. <laughs> and there was hyenas walking around and every kind of animals. <laughs> I was like, where am I? Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. I heard the elephants came over here. The elephants, yeah? I wanted to see them. I, I, I don't know if I want them to come because people might get scared. <laughs> but if, so, if some elephants walk by, I would be really amazed. Anyway, not tonight. Praise the Lord. You, you don't want to walk with the elephants home, right? You don't. Can you imagine all the great things God has made? How vast is his mind? <laughs> Lift your hands and say, Lord, fix my mind to be big like yours. <laughs> hey. The Bible says, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. How many know Jesus is God Almighty? He's not a son like another thing. He's God himself. And he's the one we serve, so we need to be more like him. The scripture speaks so much about our identity and our, our being made in his own image. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first chapter of the Bible is where God said, I made you in my own image. Let me tell you what causes a problem. Evil men and the devil. They keep people away from the nature of God. Let me tell you something. Anything that keeps you from big blessings is of the devil. Anything that manipulates you to be less than what you could be. It's from the devil and wicked men. And tonight I say they are defeated again. <coughs> Come on, shout hallelujah. 
How many know the devil is not on you? He's under your feet. How many know the devil only has one place where he is all the time, and that's under our feet? Put your foot down where he is and just step on him one time. Shaitani is Shinwe. Praise the Lord. What has to be way? Amen. Amen. God is looking to raise people up. Lift your hands. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Says, look up. To where your help comes from. Your help comes from the Lord. And he's not asleep concerning Israel. But he's not asleep concerning you. Look at the friend next to you and say, God is not asleep concerning you. They say, God cares about you. Tell him, Pastor. Beautiful. I felt earlier that there's no way we should do this in Swahili. We should go straight to Maasai. Whatever you call your language, whatever the name of it is. Someone say praise the Lord. Oh, all the people that want to hear Swahili, this is not their day. You hear the prophet speak in English and the pastor speak in Maasai. Amen. Someone say praise the Lord. We leave the Swahili alone for today. Too much Swahili all the time. People preaching in Swahili. I, I don't understand it. I need an interpreter. Amen. Amen. If I spoke just in English, many of you wouldn't get what I was saying. Like the prophecy that I did outside in English in the daytime. I'm going to send the video to Pastor here. And, and he's going to say what I said in Maasai to you. And the Lord delivered a major prophetic word today for the Maasai community. <coughs> wow. How many, how many were there outside with me? How many were there? Were you there? You were there. I have the video. You're going to see it. And you can translate it in your own language to your people. I'll share more when I can. These damn bugs like my hair. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, have mercy. I'm feeling them crawling on me. I'll kill every one of you. Okay, sorry. I was saying it's a no Swahili service, but I'm already breaking the rule. <laughs> Tell them what I said. I was saying it's a no Swahili service, but I'm breaking the rules. God is tremendously big in his imagination. We have to catch his mind. <coughs> Lift your hands and say, Lord, give me your mind. Help me to think like you think. Not the way the people think that are around me. But help me to have your mind. Because then we can create something. What? 
We can we can create things together. Let's pray in the spirit for a minute. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Let's pray. Let's pray. Ask God. Ask God to touch you tonight. To give you his mind and his heart for our generation. Because the Lord said, the Lord said that he wants to put his mind in his people and um, make them think in big ways. How many know that's for you? How many, how many know that's for you? Say, how many know that's for you? Speak to, tell, talk to me. Yes. If you want to do something great in life, you have to be unlike other people. You can't be the same as everybody else. Culture is good. Culture, culture. Unless it gets in the way of your walk with God. Culture can be a stumbling block. It can be a problem. Culture could block your way from making great progress. Telling you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you that you're breaking people loose. From every realm of low level thinking. From everything that's kept them stuck in life. Poverty is not good. Watch behind you. Poverty is bad. Struggling in life is bad. God never intended it for you. How many, how many know the Lord wants to bless you? He really does want to bless you. Father, I pray for the Maasai people, the beautiful people. I'm so glad to be here today. I don't know. It's I, I'm here to pray and to prophesy and to bless you. I pray for the people of the Maasai. The Maasai people. God, you love them so much. You love your people so much. And you want to do so many good things for them. We thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough that's coming for people. We thank you, Lord, for your favor that's coming upon every person who wants to believe you for the great thing. God wants you to be successful in everything. He wants you to prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. God takes pleasure in your prosperity. And he cries over poverty. Lift your hands and say, I won't be poor in my life. 
I'm going to be rich. Oh yeah, say it. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be very prosperous. I'm going to live the abundant life. Because that's God's plans for me. Lift your hands and pray for a minute on that one. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord makes me rich. Proverbs, Proverbs 10.22 yeah and Psalm 35 27 Psalm 35 27 says God takes pleasure in our prosperity Mama, I love it. She has a torch in, she's holding a torch with her teeth and she's looking at her Bible. You are amazing. Hallelujah. That's a great lady right there. I want to know you. She held the thing in her teeth like this and then she, she, she pointed it at the Bible. Stay on me, stay on me. Or you can get her and then come back to me. Okay, that's, that's right. Look at that, look at that. So you can turn to the book of Psalm, number 35, and, and read Psalm 35. It's a, come on, hurry up. You're turning pages, hurry up. Arakisha. Okay, how do you say that in Maasai? Hurry up, hurry up, be quick. Tasioki. What? Tasioki. Tasioki? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come on, you can read it. Give her the microphone. Give her the microphone. Yeah, 27. The whole chapter is good, but read 27. Give her the mic. Take the mic. Psalm 3 5, number 3 5. Yeah, and read it and uh, say it. Are you going to say it in Maasai? How do you say hurry up again? How do you say? No. How do you say hurry up? Pass you up. Pass you Huh? That's Yoki. Come on, Mom. We're going to be here till tomorrow. Okay, I'll wait for you. It's all right. Yeah, do it. Really loud. Come on, speak loud. She hasn't found it, but it's okay. We'll wait. We'll wait. No problem. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Yes. So, amen. So, God said what? Give, give her a hand clap. Give her a hand clap. Hey. So, so God, God said what? He said, I am happy when you're prospering. Yes, and he's also sad when you're not prospering. But sometimes there's nothing that can be done because you have to choose first to go forward in life. If people don't choose a good thing to, and, and take action, the Lord can't do much. He can't change your mind. You have to change your mind. That's why I was having us pray, Lord, give me your mind. Let's say it again. Lord, give me your mind. 
Put your thoughts in me. Now that's prophetic. That's a prophetic word. Because you'll start to think new things from tonight. Someone say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. You begin to think good things from tonight. God's going to give you good ideas. On what to do with your life. What to do in business. What to do in your career. What to do in relationships. Where to look for new things. Amen. 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 It's very terrible when you don't know what to do next. The one thing you need to know in life all the time is what to do next. What do I do now? What step do I take next? Lord, what do you want me to do now? Lift your hands and pray. Let's pray together. And ask the Lord. Lord, what do you want me to do? Show me. Show me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I want to hear you. Give me your direction. Oh, yes. Help me, Lord. Not to waste time. Help me to move forward and to pro be progressive. Help me to become successful. Help me to become rich. Help me to be blessed. Show me your favor. And show me where to go. What to do. Who to call? Who to embrace? And who to leave alone? When God wants to bless you, He sends a great person into your life. When the devil wants to mess you up, he sends a bad person into your life. And sometimes it takes time to find out who is who. It's very sad that anybody can be deceived by a wrong person. But, oh yes. And what causes trouble for you is, be, by, is, is when you trust the wrong person. You can embrace somebody and they can end up being a con man. You didn't know. But they lied to you. And then you find out later and you go, oh my God. How did that happen? One thing you need to do is check people out. Don't believe everything people say. The Bible says in Jeremiah 17, the man that just trusted man will be cursed, have a curse and a problem. <clears throat> but the man that trusts in God will be blessed. The woman who trusts in God will be blessed. But if you believe every person, it could bring you trouble and loss. And that's a tragedy. But I want to prophesy right now that every loss that's ever happened in your life is being turned around. Come on, shout amen if you receive it. And God's going to help you. He's going to provide for you. He's going to show you what to do now. 
And you're going to have a brilliant mind. And know how to move forward in life. Listen, listen to God's prophet here. From tonight this is going to happen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I receive it right now. Right here, right now. This is not for a future time, it's for right now. Everything changes after the word of the Lord has been spoken. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. I, God had me prophesy over Kenya. And all kinds of things happened. New highways, train lines, all kinds of developments. <coughs> How many know Kenya is a different place now than it was a few years ago? Look at Nairobi, the superhighway, the new expressway, even the train lines across the country, the SGR. All, all these things God had me prophesy when they were not there. I need a person in Maasai land to be a representative of me. And share and share with the people all the things that God had me prophesy. Yeah, I want you to know about it. Yeah, if you need it in the language or you need it to be taught by uh, people, it's okay, I want it to happen. Oh, Lord. I don't know why. I don't know why it's supernatural. But whenever I see Maasai people, I just smile inside. And I've been waiting to come to be with you. And I know we'll do it more. Lift your hands and let's pray. Father, everything changes from tonight. A new season is opening for your beautiful people here. All over this land, the entire Maasai communities. In every town and region where the people are. You're going to begin to show them what to do next. I prophesied new direction for the people. New success for the people. New business ideas. New industries. All kinds of new dimensions of, of, of being lifted up. God is going to begin to do it for you. Thank you, Lord. I release this blessing right now from heaven. The Lord says, I love you, my people. And I am going to bless you. You know, the presence of God is just moving in here right now. The atmosphere is changing. The anointing is falling here. Right now, the whole place is filled with the glory. I can feel it. Just in the last one minute, everything changed in the air. The presence of the Lord has walked in here. Lift your hands and receive the anointing. This is powerful. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, I give you praise. Touch your people. Anoint your people. Let them be shown honor. 
Let there be shown favor. Let there be touched with fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost himself. Let the new thing happen that you've ordained for them. I thank you, I thank you for new creativity. New wisdom. New knowledge. New understanding. Great, great blessings of your own mind and heart in your people and they're going to carry out the plans that you have the plans that you have for them Lord are being unfolded Release in power in new ways upon your precious people here and all over the land. Thank you for what you're doing in the nation of Kenya. It's a supernatural thing. The presence of gl the glory of God has just fallen in this place. He is here right now. Receive the anointing. Receive, receive, receive from him right now. Right where you are. No man has to touch you. The Holy Spirit himself is here. I don't have to lay my hands on you. I don't have to. Receive from him right now. The presence of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Rashakara Morantaya Sakarabasha. I see miracles happening, miracles. Not just of healing and deliverance, but miracles of breakthrough in life. Miracles of advancing forward in great power. Miracles in career, miracles in fi finances. Yeah. Financial miracles are coming. There's money that you needed to do things. God's going to provide. You're going to begin to see it from today. The Lord is releasing blessings to you. Father, I thank you for this touch of heaven right now. This is phenomenal. The presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord is moving here. Receive the touch of heaven right now. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings that empower people. Your blessings, Lord, upon your sons and daughters. And even on the young people, even on the children. Your hand of fire upon them. Father, raise up new apostles. Raise up new prophets. Raise up new evangelists. Raise up new pastors. Raise up new teachers. Men and women that are going to be walking in the fire with fire from heaven. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing. Look at this baby. She put the chair right there. You want to be in the presence of God, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Bless this young child, Lord. With the little chair. You have your little chair. Bless this baby, Lord. Bless this baby, Lord. Precious little girl. She came and put her chair here just to be close. That's amazing. The hand of the Lord be upon you, dear. Thank you, Lord.
new fire, new anointing. It's falling. It's falling here. It's falling here. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I pronounce, I pronounce blessings upon you. The word of the Lord. I speak blessings over you. That God will touch your life. Give you a new direction. New blessings from his own hand. New honor, new favor. New glory. New glory. The power of the Holy Ghost upon this land. Lord, I prophesy over the land. I prophesy over the Maasai land. And I say it belongs to the Maasai people. Let there be no exploitation. Let there be no theft. Let there be <laughs> let there be a, a, a protection upon the people. Thank you for the new industries you spoke about. Thank you for the new businesses coming alive. Thank you for the new churches led by powerful men of God. Thank you for the women of God rising up all across this land. It's going to be phenomenal. And things that have never been seen before are going to happen in this season. Things you have never seen before are going to come out of you by the power of God. The Lord is making you brilliant by his own hand and his own touch. Lift your hands and receive the presence of the Lord right now. The anointing is here. Thank you, Lord. The presence of heaven is here. Thank you, Lord, for your precious people. Now from tonight, Lord, I declare that they will never be the same after today. I speak this prophecy across the whole entire region. That the whole community will erupt with new blessings. New ideas from you. New counsel from you. New knowledge from you. New wisdom from you. New direction from you. New power from you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Just keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. The Holy Ghost is here. 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 Aratalaba. Yes. Receive his touch. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. New empowerment is here. I know I'm here in this place tonight. But I speak it over the entire community. All the Maasai people are being blessed in this season. All of the people of the Maasai communities are being blessed. God's going to turn things around for you. 
He's going to remove uh, uh, obstacles and oppression and lift you up and put you even in high places. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise and a shout right now. Give the Lord a hand of praise and a shout right now. So give the Lord a hand of praise and a shout. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. All right, I'm Thomas Manton the fourth. I'll see you again. Manton the fourth. Thomas Manton the fourth is my name. I'll see you again sometime. Stretch your hands out toward me right now. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Come on. Stretch your hands out toward me. And say, Lord, I pull on the grace. I pull on the anointing. I receive the impartation right now to prosper and succeed in life. I receive the touch from you right now. Jesus' mighty name. All right, I'm going. God bless you. I love you. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's do it. Hey, this is Yesu. Yesu Nibwana. My, my boss. Oh, thank you. God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your hands to the Lord. Let's lift our hands to the Lord again. I feel the anointing again. I feel the anointing falling again. Lift your hands up. As we're about to go for the night. The Lord bless you. Keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. And give you his power. His, his peace. And his prosperity. You'll never have money problems. When you follow the direction of God. He will bless your life. I love you very much. Do you know that? Yes, do you know? Can I blow you a kiss? Can you give me one? Wow. Ooh, one more. Come on, give me one more. Wow, I feel it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a shout of praise. Dear brethren, in Psalms 119, 105, the Bible says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Truly, God has sent prophet Dr. Thomas Manton IV to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations. Thus, brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you, just as the Bible says in Matthew 10, 41, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering. You can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, 
you shall be blessed.